Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very possibly long video, um, but it's going to be packed with information and it's focusing on how I dye my hair red and as well how I keep it looking red for as long as possible. So I'm going to run through the products that I use to dye my hair, the products that I use to wash and condition my hair, and the products that I use to touch up the red color in my hair, along with tips that I have from two years of experience of dyeing my hair red. Um, so keep watching if you want to find out how to get your hair red at home. This is not a, like a professional, I do everything on my own. So yeah, keep watching. Okay, so first up, obviously, need to dye your hair. Now, I have been dyeing my hair at home for years now. Um, I just, when I was a grad student, I just couldn't see, like, why I would go and spend, like, $100, $200 just to get my hair dyed when I could get really great results at home just by using a box dye every four to six weeks or so. I just wanted to save some money that way. So when I started dyeing my hair red, I, of course, went to the drugstore and picked up something to dye my hair red. Now I've gone through a couple other ones. I kind of did like a almost brown but a little bit of a red. That's kind of how I got introduced into the red. And then when I went fully red for the first ever time, I actually picked up the Garnier Olea hair dye and I've used the color 5.6, which is medium garnet red. I've been using this color in particular for the last almost two years and then Recently, the color that I have in my hair right now is something I'm going to be talking about afterwards, but I cannot say enough good things about this brand of hair dye. First off, it doesn't smell. It barely smells at all, which I really enjoy. Now, this is a little bit more of a different hair dye because it actually is like more of an oil. It's an oil powered color. There's no ammonia in it. Um, and it is, it comes in a few shades of red. Um, there's a 4.6, a 5.6, and I believe a 6.6. Um, I used to get a 4.6 and a 5.6 and mix them, or sometimes I would get a 4 and a 6 and mix them to make a 5. Um, I've been, you know, experimenting every so often. Okay, so I know that when you get a box dye, you get, you know, the bottle that comes with it, and you can apply it with the, like, the fine tip thing. You can tell that I don't really know what I'm talking about because I don't use that anymore. I use this. I use like the bowl and the brush. I picked this up at Sally Beauty Supply. A lot of the products I'm going to be talking about came from Sally Beauty Supply just because they're so cheap and like they're pretty relatively accessible. You can also buy online for Sally Beauty. Um, but yeah, I just mix it all in here um, and then I mix it around and I use the brush and I find I can get a lot more mileage out of the product in a box using this method rather than using what's um, given in the packaging. Um, you can really scrape off every single drop of hair dye. Um, now I always start with my roots. I always start with wherever I part my hair the most because that one's going to be seen for as long as possible. So I'll start here and I'll go down this side, the front, then I'll take sections and go down this side. Then I go down the back and that's when I get all, then all my roots are done. And then I'll start piling on the hair color all the way down the length of my hair. Now I don't dye my hair every four weeks. If I did do every four weeks I would just be doing um, the roots and then just slightly pull through with the last 10 minutes but I can get away with not dyeing my hair for about six weeks or so. I do have roots at that point with grays and that kind of stuff but I deal with it. It doesn't really matter to me but yeah I find that using the brush and the bowl is just a lot more economical when it comes to how much dye you can um, kind of spread across your entire head. Um, but yeah, the Olea one, really great. Like I had said, I just recently tried a new hair dye. Now this was sent for me, sent to me for review, um, just as a disclaimer, as are a couple other products, but please trust my opinion on this. This is probably one of the best hair dyes I've ever tried in my life. Now, it does come back, come with a couple drawbacks in comparison to the Olea, but the results that I achieved with it and the way that my hair looked, especially for the first week or so after dyeing it, was fantastic. So this is the Schwarzkopf. I tried. Um, this is the Color Oteam Flaming Reds hair dye. Now the color that I've used is 4.2 Mahogany Red. Um, now when you go 
lower in number, it means a darker shade. So I'm typically used to going with a level 5 with my hair so that it's a little bit brighter. But I'm still actually really happy with this. I'm actually going to look to see if there are other shades within this range with the red. Um, now, my hair was so shiny after using this. It was absolutely insane. People commented on how nice my hair looked after using this hair dye. And while people will comment after I use the Olea one, they'll just say, oh, your hair is like a nice bright color again or whatever. They, t they focus on the color for the Olea, but I found that the people focused on like the finish or the texture or the appearance of my hair with the Schwarzkopf. A couple drawbacks with this, it does have ammonia in it. So it does smell, which is a shame because I really don't like that. And I've been so used to two years of dyeing it without any smell. I'm like, what is this? Um, but still, it's really great. Um, it's still a great hair dye and I can get away with it. I just turn on the fan in my bathroom and then it, it takes the, the scent away. However, my hair did smell like hair dye for the next day or two um, after dyeing my hair. It just seems like I get more out of this hair dye than I did with this. Now it says if your hair is anything longer than chin length with the short scuff that you should be buying two boxes and I can see why. I re I was I was nervous that I was going to have a half or a th two thirds of a dyed hair head after using this so I do highly recommend. I don't know what it is. The fact that I still get the same volume of product compared to the Olea but I can't get as much out of it. It's just strange. It might be the texture, the consistency of the actual dye, one being thicker and thinner than the other. That could probably lengthen how much you can get out of it. Um, but yeah, so if you do, if you have hair my length, now this is curled, but relative, if you have my length, maybe even a little bit shorter or indefinitely longer, you need two boxes of this for sure. Especially if you're doing color for the first ever time, you need two boxes of this. But the color that I achieved with this was just so rich and professional looking. I was just, I'm just so impressed that I will probably be switching in between the two from now on. Um, I'm definitely going to be looking into seeing what other shades of red are available with the short cup though. Okay, so I dye my hair, I rinse it out of the shower, it looks like a murder scene in my shower when I dye my hair. It's actually really funny if you've ever dyed your hair red, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now I always make sure to use the conditioner that's included with the box dye at the end of like when it tells you to do it in the instructions. Um, I find that it really does help with the look of the hair afterwards and the texture of the hair. It definitely doesn't make my hair feel dried out or anything, um, especially the fact that I just dyed it and that is a lot of damage to the hair, but you definitely don't see that once you start using the box uh, dye conditioner that comes with it. And I try to use that every once a week until it runs out just to keep up the like the softness of my hair and things like that. Once I have dyed it, I obviously am going to have to shampoo and condition my hair in the coming days. Now, the first thing is I do not wash my hair for at least 48 hours after dyeing it. Um, it's the easiest, by washing your hair immediately after dyeing it or like even the next day, that is a road to losing the color instantly. Red hair is the hardest to maintain. Probably purple is also very hard to maintain as well. Um, it's just because the pigments of a red, of like the color red, are so tiny that they can escape through the hair very easily. So if you have damaged hair, which you obviously will have once you dye it, those red pigments just, they just start leaving. Spe immediately when you start washing your hair. Um, so like I said, I don't wash my hair for 48 hours or more. I try and go with 72, so I'll do dry shampoo or baby powder just to kind of keep the oils at bay or I'll throw my hair up in a ponytail for like that last day, but I try not to wash it. Now, when I go to wash my hair the first time or any time after that, I make sure to use a color preserving shampoo. Now, I also got sent these with the hair dye to try and Match made in heaven, like they are ridiculous. So these are the Schwarzkopf's Essence Ultime with Luxurious Pearl Essence Shampoo and Conditioner. They're the diamond color and radiance. Um, this is the conditioner, this is the shampoo. 
They work so well. They smell so great. It's like that salon smell that you always look for in a shampoo and people will just think that you went to the salon, but really you just showered at your own house. Um, super hydrating. It doesn't strip the color. Usually when you dye your hair, red especially, the next time, the first time that you shower, it's almost like there, it was like a little murder scene in your shower basically um, because more of the red is coming out. I haven't found that my hair has um, like leached as much red when I use these two products. Now that could be saying something about the dye, it could be saying something about these products, um, but they're just so great. The shampoo is a really great consistency. It's not too thin that you lose it all in the palm of your hand. It's not too thick to make it too hard to lather. Um, it also has like a pearlized, you can see that pearl essence in it because it has a nice sheen to it when you have, like when you dispense it into your hand. Lathers super well. Even if I haven't washed my hair for two to three days, I don't have a struggle with lathering up my hair. With some shampoos you do, you have to do two washes. So it's really great that you don't have to wash your hair you know, do the shampoo and repeat because that's just more chances of red dye getting out of your hair. And then the conditioner, nice and thick, really good. It doesn't like leak out of your hair or anything. It stays there. Once you apply it to your hair, it stays and it's there until you rinse it out. And when you do rinse it out, your hair is so soft and smooth. It is lovely. So yeah, if you dye your hair red, black, brown, blonde, anything. Maybe blonde, you want to see if they have a blonde line within this, but these shampoo and conditioner combo, fantastic. Okay, so sticking with the shampoo and conditioning type of, you know, products and tips that I have now, I have not taken a fully hot shower in almost two years now. Um, you cannot wash your hair with hot or even relatively warm water when you have red hair because all it's going to do is open up the cuticle of the hair and more of those red pigments are going to leach out and they'll end up at the bottom of your shower and down the drain um, and not sticking in your hair. So I will shower like my body with warm water. Of course, I'm not a mad woman, but the minute I need water to touch my hair, I turn it to like a lukewarm kind of cool temperature and then that way it just seals the cuticle as much as possible and it doesn't let as much leach out of the hair. Now when I'm not using um, the shampoo and conditioner that I just talked about, sometimes especially if I have a special event or something like that or it's nearing the end of my dye cycle, um, I will use the Zotos Professional Quantum Riveting Reds Shampoo and Conditioner. Now, I picked these up at Sally Beauty Supply. I highly recommend them if you have red hair. Um, they are both color replenishing products so they actually have dye in them. These are really great and they definitely help prolong the look of the red in your hair. I prefer to just use the conditioner. The shampoo is obviously nice but you are rinsing it out so really how much can stick around but the conditioner is a great way to keep your red lasting for even longer. Now I don't use these a few days prior to dyeing my hair. Um, and a few days prior to dyeing my hair, the shampoo or two beforehand, I will actually use hot water just to try and get all the gunk and dirt and buildup out of my hair, um, just so it doesn't interfere with the color. Plus, like I'm dyeing it really soon anyways, so what's the difference anyways? But yeah, I won't use these a few days um, before I dye my hair, but throughout like the month, month and a half, I will use these every so often if I feel like I need it. Okay, so if you can't get your hands on a color depositing shampoo and conditioner, you can always make one on your own. And I also do this from time to time if I really want to boost up the color in my hair, especially for like if I'm going to be going to an event or something like that, then I will use this a lot more. I did get this from Sally Beauty Supply. Um, it's the Ion Color Radiance bright se semi-permanent cream hair color and I have it in of course this is all wrinkled I can't read anything 05076 red rouge rojo red um, but basically what this is is it's a semi-permanent hair dye it's the coloring aspect of a hair dye and you just buy it separately from the developer now I use semi-permanent because I obviously don't want to be fully dyeing my hair again but what I'll do is mix a, the semi-permanent dye with 
some conditioner. It doesn't matter what conditioner it is. I'll mix that in the palm of my hand in the shower and then apply, um, especially to like the root area or whatnot and like along the hairline. I will apply that there and then let that sit for five to 10 minutes while I'm doing the rest of my routine in the shower. Um, and then I'll rinse it out and then it's actually replenished the, um, the hair color. So it's the exact same concept as something like this that I bought at Sally Beauty Supply. It's just DIY, do it yourself. And then last but not least, I've done this, I think twice now. Um, yeah, I'm going to say twice that I've used this product, but I've really enjoyed it. And it really is only on like very special occasions and s very specific occasions. And again, it's from Sally Beauty Supply. It's the Ion Color Brilliance color mask and this one is in hot red it's a temporary color mask basically now I've used this basically before Halloween um, the last not this past year I was max from two broke girls because apparently I look like her but the year before that I was uh, poison ivy and of course with the red hair I wanted it to make sure it was like as vibrant as possible so I used this um, before I went out both times. So basically with this product what you're gonna do is you just apply it like a mask, like a conditioning mask that you would. You leave it on for three minutes and then you rinse it out and it can last up to two to five shampoos. I found it only lasted for the one um, but obviously I went for like a brighter color just to really amp up my red. This is another great way just to refresh the red in your hair. Okay so those are all the products that I use over time to throughout the life cycle of my dyed red hair. Now I have a couple other tips for you that you may not have thought of um, aside from the never take a fully hot shower ever again. Um, the struggle is real. But one, don't use white towels. Just get rid of them. If you can get black towels, it's probably the best thing you could ever do when you have red hair because you will stain everything. It doesn't matter if you haven't dyed your hair for three weeks, some red will still come out onto your towels. So just avoid um, white towels. Same thing goes with white pillowcases and white clothing. Um, I actually did get stuck out in the rain one time at a concert. I was seeing the weekend um, a couple years back and I had just dyed my hair like four days prior and it downpoured. I had a white shirt on and it looked like I got stabbed because of all the red that just leached out. So I do actually avoid wearing white um, with for the, about the first week or so that I've dyed my hair. Um, and if you are traveling, especially if you're staying at Airbnbs, which I've done, which is why this like kind of comes across, I bring my own towels and pillowcases just so that someone else doesn't have to deal with the uh, dye situation that's in my hair. Um, Minimize your heat exposure, although I do use heat products every single day on my hair. I always use a heat protectant because that will also help minimize the damage, which will then hopefully minimize the amount of color that's leaching out. Um, but yeah, and keep your hair conditioned because if you don't keep it conditioned, you don't use conditioner every single time you wash it, you will notice that the color starts fading very quickly. Um, but yeah, I really hope that this gave you a good overview of kind of how to dye your hair red, what products that you should look for after you dye your hair red. If you have any questions whatsoever of products that I've used or techniques that I use to dye my hair, etc., please do not hesitate to leave them in a comment down below. I will be glad to help you guys out if you are wanting to step into the red hair world. It's a good world. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and learned something while watching it and got some ideas of what products you need to pick up if you have red hair. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you can see future videos. Um, and make sure to connect with me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I will link all of those down below and I will try my absolute best to link as many of these products down below so that you can go check them out if you want to give them a try. But yeah, have a great rest of the day, guys. Bye.